Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use TomTom Tom Go app. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our daily software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering how do you start using TomTom Tom Go here? Well, first things first is you, made, you need to make sure that you download and install the TomTom Tom Go app, which in this case, you could actually download it from the Google Play Store. In this case, since I already downloaded it, let's go ahead and open it up. Now, in this case, if this is the first time that you're open, uh, opening up TomTom Tom Go here, there are a few things that you need to know here. So, the TomTom Tom Go app here is not for free, but you can try their services for free for 7 days. But afterwards, you need to pay for your membership for you to start using the actual app. Now, in this case, uh, once you've actually uh, set up your account here, like for example, setting up your payment method, you should have the prompt that says download map. So this might take a few minutes, so make sure to just wait for the download process or the map download to finish on your app here. But once that is actually complete, this is what it's going to look like. So the UI itself is actually quite simple. We have the search bar at the very top here. We have our tree bar icon, which at the bottom left here, which actually contains different settings. We also have the volume icon here, which in this case, you can make your the sound itself from the app to be muted, unmuted, or even an alerts only option. So you could also choose the compass icon here, which in this case changes your view. So from driving view or the map view here. Now, in this case, before we actually try using the navigation feature here, we want to access the other features that we can actually access here. Now, at the bottom left, you have the tree bar icon, which in this case, you have the search, which in this case allows you to search for different locations that you want to go to. You also have the add home option, which in this case actually adds a home to your app here. You go also add your work here for easy access. So adding home or locations in the app itself make it makes it a lot easier for you. You won't need to type it every time that you want to go to that location. Also have the history here if you want to go or basically see your recent history. So in this case, we also have the My Places here, which in this case, these are the save locations that you have. So if you want to add a new one, just click on the add at the bottom right here and just start uh, searching for it by clicking on search here. And once you've searched for it, like for example, I'm going to say town square. So this is just an example. So in this case, go ahead and choose this one. And from here, you can just click on the star icon to add this into your uh, favorite or save place. As you can see right now, it is now added. Now you can also add contacts or photos here. Now you have the my roots here, which in this case, you have the option to save roots in your account. You also have the TomTom Tom services, which in this case, different services that they offer. Uh, for example, traffic and speed camera, so get real-time traffic info. They also have the MyDrive, which in this case, allows you to sync places with all, all your devices. So if you have or if you're using this app in multiple devices, but in this case, it actually syncs that in. Also have the online search here, which improves your uh, searching capabilities since it will use online data. So we also have online routing here, calculate routes, route online for faster and more precise results. So in this case, you could go ahead and disable or enable these services here. Now they also have different or other services that are not yet released or is still in experimental, which in this case, you could enable map scale bar or platform IT, a TTS services. And from here, you could go and start using it if again, if you want to. Now, if you go to support, this is where you'll be able to request support on the app itself, like view intro, contact customer support, or browse the FAQ review, support videos, or so in this case, if you have any questions. Also, the about section here, which gives you the uh, software development kit, any of the uh, now developer information in here. Also have the reorder option here, which in this case allows you to reorder some of the options that we have here. Like for example, you want to make the uh, section for, let's just say this is going to be for a uh, section for recent destinations. So in this case, you can make this at the very top here and just click on done. As you can see, we were able to reorder it. Now in this case, how do, how, we how do we start using the actual app? Well, using the app is pretty simple. So first you want to click on search here. Now the search here allows you to search for a different location. You also have the option to view different categories here and also the safe places like add home, your work, home or work locations. You also have your favorites here if you want to view them. Now, for example, if you're looking for restaurants or even uh, gas stations, you can go and click on the appropriate icon here. It's going to search for the nearest one in your area. 
So whenever you click on it, it's going to show you the allocation. If you want to go there, just click on drive and it's going to show you how do you actually go there from your location, which in this case, you just need to follow it. Now in this case, you could go ahead and start the navigation. So it's going to be around six minutes in my case. In this case, it's going to click on this one, click on drive. From here, it's going to click on agree. So this uh, some information is going to be uh, sp uh, say stated here. Make sure to read that, but for now, it's going to click on agree. And it's going to start the navigation process. So in this case, you could go ahead and start driving. And uh, yeah, so in this case, uh, once uh, you're done, uh, it should complete or automatically complete itself. But if you want to actually end it earlier, you could go ahead and click on the X at the bottom right here. Click on end route. It's going to end the whole process. Now, if you click on search here, so for example, we are, you want to go to this specific location here. This is just an example, but you could just type in whatever here. So I'm going to choose this one and I want to go ahead and click on the drive here. But if you click on the tree dot icon here, you also have the option to basically add this to your places or search near this er specific area. If you're looking for something like for example, for, for example, someone just told you, Hey, it's near this area and you're looking for a specific store. Well, in this case, you can use that function. In this case, let's go ahead and click on drive here. And then again, you could go ahead and start driving. Now you could also choose a route to that specific location by swiping right here. As you can see, there are going to be three uh, different routes I could try here. In this case, choose accordingly here. So for example, I wanna use this one, just click on drive and that should start the whole process. And then again, if you want to go ahead and change a few things, mute this or even find alternative routes, you could go ahead and do that. So if you click on tree dot here at the bottom left, you have the uh, following options like turn by turn instructions if you want to enable that. You also have the find alternative routes, which in this case calculates or finds alternative routes that you could use. You could also have the avoid block roads or avoid road types here if you want to. You also have the change route type, avoid part route. So in this case, there are going to be a lot of options here. So for example, I want to click on avoid road blocks and it's going to uh, recalculate my uh, specific uh, a navigation here and it's going to give me uh, the different locations that I should be avoiding and some information that you can see like for example there are going to be speed enforcements here so if you see any icons on it you go in and click on it and see what's actually about so you have speed enforcement camera so in this case uh, be careful on your speed here so they will be recording you on this specific location here so yeah so yeah, in this case, uh, those are the basics that you need to know for the actual app or how to use it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video. So see ya.